Coming up today on Better Household Hacks, we're showing you how to make your life easier with some things you already have in your house. How about taking your family on a day trip? Melissa Cole is showing us a sweet exhibit the whole family will love. And recipe of the week. Can we pull off an easy fall dessert? Mmm. Your day is about to get better starting right now. Happy Wednesday, the first full day of fall. Yep. Can we just talk about that Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the uh, the, the the professor all who said to her, I mean, we're seeing the coverage today, obviously. All, but. all day long. You know what, just the thing, the professor that you're going to talk about, but I just want to say, it was so nice kind. to see all these people of all different beliefs come together Liberal, and actually be civil. And, civil and, and when they show the picture of Antoni, uh, Antonin, Scalia, Antonin Scalia and her on, ca on camels course. and they're riding and they couldn't have more different views, but they were best friends, like, it made me feel a little hopeful. Absolutely. So the professor said to her, what are you doing here? You say you could have, this was when she was in law school, said, uh, what are you doing here? That You just took a guy's, you took a man's spot. Yeah. Uh, you, you could have been, an, you know, this could have been given to a man who yeah. deserves it a little bit more it's than It's interesting you. to read because I think. Could you uh, imagine saying that? Not today, <laughs> but how much has changed in a generation? <laughs> How much has really changed in generation? A lot of uh, female attorneys saying they wouldn't be where they really? are if it and were not. And they're for saying now that more work. females are in law school than males. Yeah. How much does that change? How, that's unbelievable. Wow. Good for them. And Good speaking for you. of powerful people, Time has revealed its Time 100, the annual list of the 100 most influential people. And it's uh, highlighting people like Dr. Anthony Fauci, yep. The Weeknd, the, the weekend. performer. Yeah. Maya and, Moore. Uh, yeah, a CEO of uh, the company Alphabet. And also the uh, founders of Black Lives Matter. Yep, it's just uh, Michael Jordan, Selena Gomez, uh, Halsey, Yo-Yo uh, Ma, Dapper Dan. I mean, the list just goes from from pop culture to uh, leaders of state, heads of leaders of state. And they have the interesting thing because they'll take other celebrities and have them write about them. So someone who would have known about that field and then write about them. You're seeing lots of different covers. Yeah, um, they have eight worldwide a, covers. Because there's, you know, they, they take different ones and they put them around the world of uh, highlighting different leaders. But like the woman here, there that's the nurse on the front line of COVID. So there are so many like her, but. So many. So many. And, you know, it's just, it's regular people, too. It doesn't, you know, you don't have to be. I feel like a good goal is to go through this. I, I have to admit, when I read the 100 people, there are many people. When I read the name, I, I don't know who I that don't is. Know who, right. And I think it would be a good exercise to, go to just go. I was like, just thinking that. Let's go. Let's or at least ten, pick 10 out of the 100 and learn more about them. You know what you so, say, like, I'm going to oh, read all the 100 classics and then yeah. you don't get to it. But, like, yes, maybe I'll do the top 10. You do the bottom 10. We'll meet in the middle. We'll talk about it. Yo-Yo Ma. Yeah. I'll learn about him. A little bit more. All right, All right, the hell with it. <laughs> it's 2020. That's, that's a new, the slogan. That, that's what Reese's is using uh, because they're putting pretzels in their in their peanut butter cups. They said this has been a kind of a salty year. That's actually their slogan. Yeah. Is, is the hell with it. It's 2020 because you know anything goes. Oh, I don't like this idea though, Kara. I, I don't like anything in my Reese's pieces. It's, uh, in I, the I, peanut I butter love cups. pretzels and I love Reese's. I think. I mean, I get keep... it, the whole salty thing, but I, I, I'm a purist too. You know, I don't uh, yeah. think they should mess with Oreos exactly. or with anything you. like that. Totally with you. Um, totally with you. So, but you can get them, and maybe you want to give them for Halloween, if you're going to do any kind of safe trick or treating. We're still figuring out what that's going well, to look like. Well, uh, that leads us to the next question. The CDC is saying stay away from haunted houses this year, and then you got Universal Orlando. They have some spooky tricks and treats for this fall. It's obviously going to be fun, but I guess they're going to practicing social distancing. They got a they got a haunted house with the purchase of the theme park admission. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm sure there are going to be some changes. There's some local ones, too, that are still going on, and they're doing it like the Essex Steam Train is having something where you go, and uh, you won't have as many crowds. So, But this sounds scary. One of the haunted houses that they're going to have at Universal Orlando, Revenge of the Tooth Fairy, what that is, unveils a what? haunting ritual behind the holiday tradition. I do not want my kids to go to that. What is that? Re what do we mean? Revenge of the Tooth Fairy? Like, if, if like you... they're making the Tooth Fairy evil. That's terrible. That's terrible. You don't want kids to be afraid of the Tooth Fairy? Oh, my God. That's that's awesome. That's terrible. I, I love the Tooth Fairy, and I want her to keep coming. Although I don't want my teeth to keep falling. Yeah, out. I think you're done with the Tooth Fairy now. No, you'd be surprised. No, no, no. We don't want any more Tooth Fairy for you. I, 
got I'm waiting for five bucks under my pillow if my molar falls out. Okay. <laughs> let me know. I'm really tied into the Tooth Fairy still, so if you lose a tooth, let me know. I'll make sure. Apparently, this is all happening at 2.30. <laughs> and if not 2.30, right. 2.32. 30, Have you been seeing uh, all you, your Jamie. friends at Peloton bikes and thinking, should I pull the plug? Should I do this? It's the only way people are staying fit, it seems like, at home. Well, now Amazon has announced a Peloton knockoff bike with a much smaller price tag. It's under $500, $499. Can you believe the price of the Peloton is almost $2,000? People, you know, they do these payment plans. It's more plans. than 2000 Oh, 2500 excuse me. Yeah, they do these payment plans, and people invest, and they say it changes their life. But if you could do it for four ninety nine, now this one doesn't come with a screen like Peloton. You would use your own iPad or yeah, your own well, laptop. Sure. But you still have the ability to stream some workouts. Let me tell you something. I know how you can get exercise. You take the $2,500, you tape it up throughout your apartment, and run around and collect it. <laughs> That's what you do. You run around and go chase your $2,500. Yeah. I haven't actually tried a Peloton bike, but people do say that the workouts are amazing, and yeah, it's really like having a, tra a trainer they, in your house. They seriously said it's. I, I know. Some and if you compare said, it to the cost of personal training, and then that's what it is—it's like a live personal trainer with you. Twenty-five hundred dollars? You can get a lot of personal training for twenty-five hundred. Could you use your bucks. wellness bucks for it? I, I don't know. <laughs> what if you just had seventeen babies? That's a workout. Could that's what imagine? happened to this dog, Beely. It's a Georgian Shepherd. Look at this. Seventeen Incredible. puppies. It's her first litter. First Look. time she ever gave birth, and she gave birth to 17 puppies. It went on for 18 hours, and they're all healthy. 17 puppies, and the breed is almost extinct, so they're very happy to bring all these puppies into the world. Kara, I want one. They're so adorable. They I look mean, like golden retrievers. I don't could they? watch it all day long. I'm and not golden retrievers, uh, golden labs. Yellow labs. Oh, my oh look at the little whoosha! The whoosha! <laughs> <laughs> the people were in shock. The babies just kept coming. The puppies just kept coming. And again, as you said, it lasted 18 hours. Oh my gosh, look at her. Look, and they yeah. said they have to help out with the feeding because there's too many of them. Yeah, the human family, they're in there and they're trying to help out because, I mean, the poor mom, it's 17. Look what a good mama can she I, can is. Can I ask a dumb question? 17 pups, wouldn't that be 17 things? No. <laughs> no? No. Doesn't work that way. No, they got to share. Wow. It's like, what if a, a female had uh, quadruplets? It's a good point. <laughs> I'm not going to ask any more stupid questions here. Let's just move on. Let's not go back to season one when you asked all about that. <laughs> Look that one up. Okay. <laughs> you, would th oh, you would think you would think there would be 17 receptacles if there were 17 puppies. Okay. Right? No, I wouldn't think that. All right. Okay. That's why I'm a man, because I'm an idiot. All right. Okay. Bindi Irwin, she's the daughter of Steve Irwin. She's pregnant and is expecting a baby girl. One girl. One girl. Oh, there you go. Okay. No, sorry. Uh, anyway, so I can't anymore. Keep going. Keep Let's going. Talk about people. All right. All right. The, the folks over at People, they've got a lot coming up tonight. Absolutely. Let's see what's coming up at 730. Hey, guys. Here's what people are talking about. The car just came flying over the hill going 75 miles an hour and struck me on the left side. The incredible life of country superstar Sarah Evans hit by a car while riding a motorcycle behind her parents' back. Sarah nearly died when she was just eight years old. And you said that you've been suffered from PTSD as a result, saying even that you had an unreasonable fear of dying in your sleep. How disruptive was that fear? You know, I spent six weeks in the hospital um, enduring so much pain. And I think that physical pain just traumatized me. But also people telling me, you know, you're so lucky to be alive. You know, I had to have a pin drilled into my leg while I was awake. Um, just it was so much for a little girl to have to endure. In her memoir, Born to Fly, Sarah is open about her struggle with anxiety, at one point suffering a meltdown while traveling from New York to Pennsylvania in 2005. I just had these unreasonable fears like, you know, I'm in this car service, I'm in the middle of nowhere, this guy could kidnap me. I just started freaking out and I put the visor down to look at myself in the mirror and I did not recognize myself. I mean, I just was, didn't know who I was. Mm, and there is so much more no, tonight no, no, no. on People.
All right, we've got a big event coming up tonight at 7.30 also yes. uh, on Facebook. Yes, I hope you watch from your Betty Buy because you can watch this from your comfort of your own home. It's a virtual capital catwalk. Just go to the WFSB Facebook page, like us if you haven't already, and uh, watch for our push alerts on the app. We'll let you know you can join us live starting at 7.30. You'll hear some powerful stories, see some amazing uh, words of wisdom. Graphic? Who did that graphic? Uh, we have a wonderful designer who volunteers her time for Dress that for Success. That is amazing. She is incredible, and I, I don't want to mess of her name, so I need to check it before I tell That's everyone. something I would frame and put up in my house. Yes, and every year she does a new dress. God bless uh, So that. every year it's changed. But uh, tonight, and uh, information is on my Facebook page, on the WFSB Facebook page. You can watch us live, and you'll even be able to help uh, help women in our community right through the Facebook page. All right, a couple of peppercorns in Hartford. They're having a little trouble. They need you to go and eat there. Dino has been really? in business for years. I'm yeah. going. I, want, I, mean, I mean, like I want to run. They have the best meatballs. You get meatballs put on a salad. Go it's amazing. Go and support peppercorns in downtown He's having Hartford. trouble? Yeah. You know, all I will say, all of the downtown businesses have been reaching out to us saying, you know, West Hartford Center is doing really well. But people are forgetting to go back downtown. I know Vaughn's is reopening. Salute is hanging on. They're open. There's some really good restaurants downtown. Yeah, and if you want to have restaurants to go to when the theaters come back, support the downtown restaurants. Um, they're open. They're doing well. They've got some great deals, and they need your help. And Dino, we love you. Love right. Dino. We're yeah. just getting started on this Wednesday, Kara. It's tough to stick to a routine with our kids when, everything's keeps, when everything keeps getting canceled. So we're going to talk about how do you keep them motivated when they don't have a specific date to work for. And plants have become all the rage during quarantine. We're going to show you a place that will help cultivate your green thumb. <laughs> they even have a class, How Not to Kill a House Plant. I love it. I'm going to take this. <laughs> You're watching Better Connecticut on this Wednesday hump day afternoon. We'll be right back. Better Connecticut is a full hour.